Hey, Happy Campers, Todd here, Great American RV Superstores. Did you know at all of our 11 locations, we have a retail store called the Camping Store? Today, we're gonna go over some of the RV essentials and must-haves for every camper. So first off, we're gonna talk about power. Power, we have some what we call dog bones in the RV industry. They're adapters from either 30 amp to 15 amp, which is your regular household connection, or you have 30 to 50 amp, or 30 to, or 50 to 30 amp. There's all kind of different connections on here. You also have different twist lock connections with all kind of different combinations. So the question is, what do they do? So your 30 amp connection, if you have a 30 amp power cord on your unit and you want to be able to plug it in at your house but you don't have that 30 amp female plug well you can plug it into here and plug it into that regular wall outlet now it does reduce the amount of items that you can turn on on your unit but essentially if you have it parked in your driveway you're just trying to get your refrigerator cold and have some lighting so you can load your unit but one thing that you want to be aware of is you don't want to run things like your ac on this type of outlet it will burn up the cord and possibly your ac unit the next connection is a 50 to 30 amp. If you have a 50 amp power cord, but the campground where you're going to only has 30s, you'll use this. Now this does reduce the amperage on your unit from 50 to 30. So you may only be able to run one AC instead of two or only plug in two griddles instead of three. It's gonna reduce the amperage on your unit altogether. So you have to kind of figure out what you can and can't run. You also have the 30 to 50. Maybe the campground only has 50 amp options rather than the 30 amp. This does not increase your amperage on your unit, however, because you're still only going to have 30 amps going into your camper. So definitely the ones that I recommend having if you prep at your house all the time is definitely having at least that 30 or 50 amp down to the 15 amp option. That's most commonly used, like I said, whenever you're prepping your unit. And then, of course, either that 30 to 50 or 50 to 30, depending on the areas that you camp. Next on our list for power is surge guards. Now, we do have a huge amount of options brought to us by Power Watchdog. And these options can, like I said, be a little overwhelming as to what we get. But we can either go with the fancy stuff where we have Bluetooth and we can monitor it all the time, or the simpler options where we can just look on our displays of the actual power strip and know if there's a fault. What this does is just like the old power surges that we have for our computers and stuff, if there ever is an issue with the power, it's gonna shut it down before it causes a problem on your unit. And in turn, it's gonna save you a lot of money when you don't have to file an insurance claim. There's a lot of education that comes with even the components that are used on an RV. Well, Great American RV is here to help you with that as well. On our YouTube channel for Great American RV, we have a playlist called Haps Helpful Hacks. And we go over some of the items here as well as some of the components on your RV. So if you ever need reference, go check that out and you'll find a whole wealth of knowledge when it comes to RV. Thanks for watching and come visit us at our camping store at any one of our 11 locations here at Great American RV Superstores. We're making memories one weekend at a time.